a single by Cabaret Voltaire on the Rough Trade record label, Jazz the Glass.
Is it? I mean, do you sort of see it as a, a what's the word, sort of evolution thing where you're? Yes. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. And I think that the thing is now, you know, we seem to have come to a stage where um, things have got to evolve in other directions. You know, we seem to. Have, uh, you know, I get the I get the feeling that we're, we're coming towards the end of a certain type of evolution, evolutionary progress, and that um, we ought to start looking into diversity into other areas and away from music, basically. Would, would you sort of accept that the meaning of, of what you're doing and your music it would be in the way it's being used? Um, yes, I would, yeah. And I'd also say it's down to the, the individual concern who's actually got the record and the use that they put it to. Mm. Although I think in that case, the use they put it to would reflect their... You know their opinion on the music more than say ours. You know, I mean, because once we've made a record, then it obviously becomes public property. The person who's actually you know, gone out and bought it, um, and our um, our responsibility, if you like, stops there. You know, being, you know, I, I don't see that we're responsible for anybody, anybody's actions or anybody's thoughts once they've actually got the record. And so I would agree to that extent. Yeah, I don't really see that it's it's. It's my, you know, point to say which category to to go in or to, mm. to emphasise any particular areas. Because I, you know, I've got my own personal thoughts on on our music as much as sort of anybody else has. You know, yeah. some of it I like, some of it I don't. You know, um, and, and really that, you know, that in, in that area, that's as far as I take it because that's I'm not really, to a certain extent, I'm not really interested what happens after that mm. because it was the, you know, it's the actual process of the recording. Um, in general that I find interesting and not sort of the end product you know, because to say well, at that stage I've lost control over it mm. um, and you know it's up to me with the other people who have got the record that we're in control you know of how it's used and what situation is you know I'm sort of I'm of the opinion that TV in this country is going to go the same way or in a similar direction as what's happening to a small extent with cable TV in Europe but certainly the way it's going in America but the question is, when it arrives, um, if sort of people aren't careful, we're going to be in the same situation as when video arrived. Um, and it's just going to be just a hopeless mess, you know, basically run by people with no idea and have no real commitment to the media um, or how it should be run. And I think if, if there is going to be what amounts to you know, virtually a revolution in, in media in this country, which I hope, you know, uh, uh, will happen within the next 10 years, then uh, hopefully there's going to be people with uh, the, you know, the right attitude, whatever that is, but basically the skills to actually use it in a creative way. And that is really the basic role of, of sort of camping Volta in the future as I see it, you know, because the, the, to me the role of, uh, you know, sort of the group, if you like, is, is um, it's becoming obvious to me now how limited it is as an effective um, tool. It's, um, and, and because of that, I think, well, if anything, it's becoming less and less effective. I mean, so, it's always been the case, but particularly now, we know you've got to look at the charts, you know, so to see what kind of music's actually in them, to realise that, you know, to a certain extent, you know, people like ourselves are bashing their head against a brick wall, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not going to change anything through the music, um, which, you know, was something that we never set out to do, but it's becoming increasingly obvious that if you want to actually do anything, then it's, um, it's certainly not going to be through the medium of, you know, of music, sort of as in the old days, you know, rock and roll. The, um, the director of the, the Johnny Esno film, which we recorded the soundtrack for, is, is interested in working in a similar area, so we've got, and he's, you know, he's obviously quite knowledgeable about the use of film, which we're not altogether, because it's not a medium that we're, we're that experienced in. But I'm sure that something will come working with him. We've made one or two short films that Richard's in the process of editing together. And um, we've we invested sort of a, over a year ago in some video equipment and we've, we've 
recently updated it. Um, and that's the side of things, you know, that we're, we are interested in developing. But we, we did go into a studio in Sheffield, what well, a theatre in Sheffield, about six months ago, with some people from the, uh, the Visual Communications Department of the Art College and, and make about an hour's worth of video. Um, not a, a video in the usual sense, i.e. promotional mm. material for a record or a piece of music, but a video recording of us actually in performance with um, a soundtrack that was that was later dubbed on. And that's still in the editing stage and we're working with him at that stage because it involves the mixing of, of the separate video recordings and the, um, the treatment of, of other of other existing videos with the use of computers and video synthesizers. We've only got one actually completed video out of it as yet, and that, that the first one, which wasn't altogether satisfactory, but um, there's a lot of work to be done in that area. Yeah, you know, I think that's really, uh, in, that, in that case, to be an extension of what we tried to do when, when we played live, you know, but that's a, one of the main reasons why we use films and slides in, the, in, in a live setup. Because I'm interested in a, a creation of an environment, if you like, you know, mm. actually listening to some music, or you know, creating um, a, you know a, a set of circumstances which complement each other, i.e., you know, visuals and sound. <laughs> Can't hear it, then you're not meant to anyway. 